Go. Uh, you know, and today, I'm talking about uh, tourism overall, heritage tourism. Sullivan County is an integral player in the tourism impact on the state. 2014, the tourism industry created a $17.7 billion economic impact on the state of Tennessee. And county-wise, ranking 1 through 95, Sullivan County was 7th on that list. And uh, that's a tremendous impact, not only to this county and to the state, but it's an impact to the citizens. Uh, they pay less in property tax because of that, and they, uh, the impact of other things that they can do. It's not, as easily to, it's not as easy to see the visual of a factory of people walking into a factory because it's, it's more of an impact that comes uh, in, in bits and pieces here and there, but it's critical. And today, we're talking about Sullivan County and heritage tourism, the story of, say, Blump and the Battle of Blumpel, it was only a four-hour skirmish in the Civil War, but it was very impactful. And with the Civil War Trail Markers program, people come from all over the world to learn the story and to learn the story of places like the Deary Inn that was on the, the road that so many people traveled. And the, the, the people who stayed in places like this um, are historical figures that we learn about in school. All of that, and we encourage uh, people to tell their story. What may work for one county may not work for another county because that's not necessarily who you are. I, I, the example we use is uh, the rhubarb festival works in the county next over and draws 20,000 people. That doesn't mean you need to go out and have a rhubarb festival. That may not be who you are. Find out who you are, tell that story. And, and the focus of my comments today to the group was partnerships. Uh, as we look around at who we are and what we do, it is easier to get to our destination or our goal if we partner with people, if we uh, have a mutual benefit. And, and one of the definitions I like of partnership is entities who agree to cooperate to advance their mutual interest. And that means people get together and figure out what pieces and parts work. It's like a puzzle. Uh, sometimes you don't notice a puzzle if it's completed, but you notice if there's a piece missing. And so if all of those pieces are together, it works for the benefit of everyone. Uh, there was a dollar amount you mentioned on uh, how much each household saves in property taxes because right. of sales taxes in, spent in by Sul tourists. In Sullivan County alone, uh, we work with an economist uh, to come up with these formulas. It's not just uh, something we create. In Sullivan County alone, uh, each property owner saves an average of $410 a year in property taxes because of the impact of tourism in Sullivan County, which is uh, nearly $800 million a year in economic impact for tourism. That back into the city coffers and the county coffers allows expenses to stay to where uh, that would, to offset that same amount of income, uh, property owners would pay $410 a year in property tax. That, in a nutshell, is the impact of tourism. And the tourism that goes on statewide really has an impact um, across the state because people traveling in and out of the state pass through all the different communities. We're the, we're the second largest industry in the state, we being tourism. People come from all around the world. Uh, we have locations in the state that uh, their, their uh, books will show that more than 70 countries, uh, citizens from more than 70 or 80 countries have come into that business in Tennessee. That's remarkable to draw that kind of international attention and even national attention. Uh, things that we talk about here in Sullivan County. Uh, every year, people from all 50 states, whether it's for a uh, music festival, Rhythm and Roots, or the races at Bristol Motor Speedway, or a heritage festival, and to learn more about the Civil War, people from all 50 states travel to this county every year, and that is huge for this county and for the state as a whole.